Hey Stampers, Kena again, and I've, I've, I said on the last video, oh there's my card, see now, uh, that I was going to go around using up stamps and dies that I've not used yet, because I've, I've done videos on all my um, stamp sets, but I've still got about 48, well about 47 now, I've got a hair on my arm, that I... So I'm going to start, I make a point and do a start where I'm going to use the stuff that I've bought but I haven't used yet. So the Arranger Wreath, as you just spotted my card, is this one. Uh, I'd already done this to my card and then locked in my scraps bin for spares. Now I was going to, I'd already cut these out, see, and then I decided to use this beautiful designer series paper, which is from a product medley called Boho Indigo. And it's got labels, flowers, it's got even got leaves and that, but uh, and it came with these beautiful little dainty flowers from this. It was like, it was like I say, in product medley suite. And I thought, right, this arranger wreath, I've used the best wishes, which is a bit on the wonky side, so I'm not going to use the best wishes this time. Um, I'm gonna find something I think with a happy birthday on because I, I don't I don't make many birthday cards for some reason. So give me two seconds to have a look and see if I've got a stamp set that I haven't used yet, but it's just with words. So uh, there we go. Here's another one I haven't used yet, and it's called Here's a Card. So I definitely haven't used this at all. Look, as you can tell, it's all brand new. And there is the happy birthday I want to use. So I'm going to be using that one. So again, there's two stamp sets now that I've put to use. I'm going to be using mostly the dies out of here, which is this one and this one. I could also use the flower, but because I've got these little bags of flowers, I'm going to use those instead because I think those little white and I'm choosing now different cardstock. So because I've already got my, this is in the kit, in the product medley, you can use it both ways. You could have the bubbles on the top or you could have the smooth. This is a piece of the designer series paper and we're going to do some more sponging. But I'm going to cut my berries from the lighter one and the leaves from the darker one so it all matches so it's not red and green and blue and then this is for my happy birthday which is going to fit lovely perfect and this is my card base which is just a standard a4 card cut in half we've got all these you could use a love art with the love maybe in the center if you, we'll get to that when we come to it i think so i've got some dimensionals i've got my bone folder And I like to do it both ways. It just keeps the card a lot flatter to work with. And that is my good side. So like I'm saying, we're gonna this is three by four and a half. Just gives me a nice I might even take a little fraction off the side so it evens the sides up a little bit more. Oh that's that's pretty as well, see. But no, I want the blue of background so my wreath stands out, so Hmm, yes, berries are going underneath, dark ones are going on the top, perfect. So with my uh, horrible mat, which is supposed to be, it's my magnetic sheet. So berries is that one. And I keep it pretty close to the top. So I've got this spare for another card and the leaves are going at the bottom. Pop on my lid, lid, my glass plate, my, well, my top plate. And run that through. Now we can see, oh lovely, absolutely gorgeous, love these. 
So let's pop that back in there, that in there. Oh, Mr. Boyce, you're a darling. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. Just okay. taste horrible when they cut them in half, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Oh, time for my tablet. Ugh. Do you know they cut the tablets in half? It's the amitriptyline one. It's the really strong one. It makes me, yeah. Uh, quite drowsy in the mornings, like punch drunk, as they call it. So I'm gonna cut that section off. That can be used on another card, along with uh, this beautiful one as well. They pop out so easy. So what I like to do is push them in, slide them under, and I think it's gonna give me about two inches of spare cardstock so I can use them on something else and that's the only ways to get them. I like to li li be on the little bit on the frugal side so carefully then I'm just gonna because it's delicate just go round and pop out the centre. I think that's cute but it wouldn't go on a card anywhere. The same with this nice and gentle oh. until that scent a bit falls out and I do have the odd little bit there you know just poke them through they just take seconds with your pokey tool there's not too many of them there all done absolutely beautiful and they are going to look gorgeous on top of each other pop that back um, um, whoops right now i've got i did have a scrap piece of paper out there we are I'm taking, like I say, this is embossed already with a cute little pattern on, and I'm, I love the raised area, so I'm gonna use that as my top piece. And I've got, this has already got some Misty moo, Moonlight on, and I'm, it's quite saturated actually, so I'm just, I only wanna give it a glowy edge. And if you don't want to buy it all the whole product medley you can just buy the refill pack which gives you the labels the flowers the designer series paper the flowers and the leaves and these beautiful embossed papers and they sell that separate You know, say perhaps you didn't fancy the stamp set and dies, but you like the papers. I think it's about £28 the refill pack, but there was plenty of ink on my dauber then. And then this is going to get placed on the top and I can use the circles to line up my paper and get that all stuck down. When I pull my pin out, I always remove the glue because if it dries on there, and then when you try to put it back, it can sometimes get st stuck and icky. And ugh. you don't need a lot of this art glitter glue, so I'm going to line this up on my grid paper, and I'm also going to line this up with the circles on there and that gives me a nice straight piece perfect nicely lined up and everything and now i can just basically i'm going to glue the two together and i'm just going to go whoops in the center not going on the outer leaves because they won't touch anything just dotting around the circle just 
I'm not squeezing the bottle, I'm just holding it. And then I'm just gently going to lay that on top of those berries, roughly where their circle is with my circle. Perfect. Don't worry about the over spillage. Right, on this one, I just glued it flat on my card. But in, if you're not bothered about the dimensionals now, I'm going to have to grab some fresh ones. I am going to add and see if that will work. I don't want to be able to see. So I'm going to use smaller ones. So I'm taking my pokey tool and I'm going to add them where I think I might be adding. No, I'm not. I'm just going to add them in random places. Keeping the two and trying to overlap as well. So. You don't see. and five and I tried to glue my little flowers on and believe me they will not stick down with glue not even this glue so I'm going to pick five out and again I'm going to be using these cute little mini dimensionals in there and this all stays in the same bag with the designer series paper so I don't lose anything in there and now for the flowers I'm going to add a dimensional to the center of each flower just checking I've got a fresh packet here no, there it is. Let's place them on. I think you could mass produce these cards. These would look gorgeous in a gift box. I would say a set of five in there. Absolutely scrummy. So let's remove the back ends. There is a flower die in in with the die set with the wreath, but I think it I don't want this as a Christmas card, I want it as a as a birthday card. So let's just position. And if you do get any little gaps there, like you can see, I can remove the back ends. and pop that over the top so now we want one there, there, there and there so let's start that one and this one in the, it radiously in between Don't know why I've stuck to five, but five it is for me. I might just, if I can. Yeah, I'm just going to move that one down a little bit. That's better. And then I'm going to pop that one about there. I think that is so adorable. going to pop my lid on my glue pot 
and grab myself a block. And I'm gonna try and line that up as straight as possible. Perfect. It's a cute little card, but it's, uh, I'm loving these little labels. And just want to try and keep it as straight as possible. Oh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I have used my, here's a card, stamp set now. There's quite a few in here actually. Um, Let's see if there's anything for the middle. Happy birthday. It's all messy. No, no, you're no, I can't believe. Can't begin to count on all the times there's a lot to go there. Oh, I can't believe. Uh, I made you a card because you're worth it. Happy birthday. Uh, I made this card because you're worth it. Could be there. Mostly because numbers are hard. See what I mean? I don't get that one. They're supposed to coincide, I think. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Maybe these. Maybe they should have put it on that side with its meaning next to it. It's like congratulations. Mostly because numbers are hard. I don't know. I don't get that one. It's not even one there with the same font. Oh well, you made my day. How would you say that on somebody's birthday? I mean that one would go with that one maybe. Those two do. That one, thanks, you made my day. Yeah, maybe that one. Mind you, yes, here it goes. Happy birthday, I made you a card because you're worth it. I think I'm going to use that one as well. And that's the one. So while we've got the ink open and that is drying, let's try and let's stamp the inside. There we go. I got it to stay relatively uh, straight. So in fact, that's perfectly straight. Lovely. If I were a toy, even just for a toy. I know that's not the real words, but I can't sing for a toffee anyway. <laughs> so let's pop that there. We've done all the stamping. Maybe. Let's have a look what we've got here. I mean, if it's to a girl, you could put a little flower or some love hearts. I don't know what the box is for, but... Right, let's pop this now. And, oh, and I've closed this up. I might, do you think it's two-dimensional if I added more dimension now? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to glue that on. Like I say, you don't need a lot. Just I'm barely putting any on. I just need it around the outside. <laughs> Perfect. So I'm just gonna level this up, top and bottom, to the side. I know I don't want to give that a major rub because of the the reef, but that is so cute. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the blue. I'm going to pop this over. So 
some dimensionals on there. Let's position this. I love the layout of this card, but I'm going to go over like halfway. And before I press, I'm going to make sure it's nice and straight. Oh, that's perfect. Grab some little rhinestones. And pop one either side up. There it goes. either side and then I just randomly add another three one sorry about this it's not sticking there we go two where is the backs aren't lined up properly so I've got to turn it over on itself. That is cute, very cute indeed. That is so sweet. Maybe what's missing off here, let me see. I've got some green, which will go with this green. Check my battery's okay. Enough time for me to make a bow. And I'm just going to wrap it round twice, I think. Cross that over. Make sure that's in the centre. So cute. And just taps that on there. That would just take a few seconds to go off. I mean, we could use linen thread because of the. But I think I've got. Oh, that's black. I want black. Oh, I'll use the linen thread on this one. I do love the linen thread. Let's pull that tight. Slide that off. Just a little bit long. And then this can go right on there. Curl those up. That is so pretty. I am loving this card. It's so cute. I can't understand why I've never played with this set for it since June. Wow, I've got to justify buying them and using them. Because how many sets is that? And some of them, they've not all got dies, but wow. And there it is, absolutely gorgeous. And we can even, I never topped this up yet, but let's see if we can add a bit of sparkle on some of these leaves. Just on the blue one. And I mean, that could be Christmas card, birthday card, thank you card, anything now. But I've got some birthdays coming up. So I think that one look beautiful as a birthday card. Look at the sparkle. So there it is. I know that one is a bit, but some people like red, green and blue together, don't they? So I'm just going to add. There we 
go so there is that one and there's that one absolutely love it love it love it love it love it love it so there we go i would really appreciate a thumbs up and a share if you're new to my channel as well and enjoyed the cards you just see me make please don't forget to press the subscribe button and the little bell and that way you won't miss out on any future videos i do post four times a week now so come back i do tuesdays thursdays saturdays and sundays so come back on the next one don't forget the bell see you soon bye